Have you ever pondered the mysteries of St. Lucia, an island famous for its breathtaking beauty and vibrant culture? Nestled in the heart of the Caribbean Sea, St. Lucia is a land of legends and allure. This gem of an island is renowned for its stunning natural landscapes, from the iconic twin peaks of the Pitons to the pristine sandy beaches that dot its coastline. But the beauty of St. Lucia extends beyond its physical attributes. It's a place steeped in history and bursting with diverse cultures. The island's rich heritage is woven into the fabric of everyday life, from the vibrant rhythms of traditional music and dance to the mouth-watering flavors of Creole cuisine. Whether you're a nature lover, a history buff, or a culture enthusiast, St. Lucia has something to captivate your imagination. So, are you ready to embark on an unforgettable journey? Join us as we delve into the fascinating history of this beautiful island. The story of St. Lucia begins with its first known inhabitants, the Arawaks and the Caribs. The Arawaks, a peace-loving agricultural people, were the first to settle on this lush, tropical island around 200 BC. They were skilled farmers and fishermen, and they developed a rich culture based on the resources available on the island. With a deep connection to the land, the Arawaks left behind a legacy of pottery, petroglyphs, and a complex social structure that speaks volumes about their way of life. However, around 800 AD, the Caribs, a seafaring tribe known for their fierce warrior culture, arrived from South America. They gradually displaced the Arawaks, bringing a different lifestyle and culture to the island. The Caribs were skilled navigators and fishermen, and they lived in harmony with the island's abundant natural resources. They named the island Hiwanora, meaning Island of the Iguanas, in honor of the large iguana population that once thrived here. The Caribs ruled St. Lucia for several centuries, living in small scattered villages across the island. They were a resilient people, known for their intricate basketry, superior boat building skills, and a deep spiritual connection to the land and sea. They celebrated life with vibrant ceremonies, dances, and music and their folklore and stories are woven into the fabric of St. Lucian culture to this day. However, the Caribs' reign was not to last. In the late 15th century, Europeans began to explore the New World. St. Lucia, with its strategic location and natural beauty, caught the attention of these explorers. The arrival of the Europeans brought new challenges and conflicts, forever changing the landscape of the island. The indigenous tribes fiercely resisted the European invasion, but eventually, they could not hold back the tide of change. The Caribs and the remnants of the Arawak population were gradually displaced, their way of life replaced by the customs, languages, and traditions of the European settlers. The arrival of Europeans marked a significant turning point in St. Lucia's history. Their legacy, however, lives on in the place names, cultural traditions, and the spirit of the St. Lucian people. The Europeans brought a new era to the island, marked by conquest, conflict, and change. The late 15th century saw the arrival of the first Europeans, led by none other than Christopher Columbus. However, it was the French who first established a settlement in the mid-17th century, introducing sugarcane plantations and bringing in African slaves to work them. The island became a hotbed for European rivalries, with the British and French wrestling for control. St. Lucia changed hands between the two powers no fewer than 14 times, earning the nickname Helen of the West Indies. Each occupation left its own unique impression, shaping the island's culture, language, and landscape. The British influence was particularly significant. They introduced their legal and educational systems along with the English language. However, the French influence lingered, most notably in the island's Creole language known as Patois, a vibrant fusion of French, English, and African dialects. These colonial powers also brought significant changes to the indigenous population. The Caribs, the original inhabitants, faced disease, displacement, and ultimately decimation. Their culture and way of life gradually disappeared, replaced by the European norms and structures. However, it wasn't all conflict and change. There were also periods of growth and development. Infrastructure improved, towns expanded, and the island's economy diversified. Sugar remained a key industry, but alongside it grew cocoa and banana plantations. The abolition of slavery in the early 19th century heralded a new chapter. Freed slaves established their own communities, contributing to the island's rich cultural tapestry. Their traditions, music, and cuisine continued to be an integral part of St. Lucian culture. 
As we move into the 20th century, we see the gradual transition towards self-governance and eventually, independence. But that's a story for our next scene. The end of colonial rule left a lasting imprint on St. Lucia's culture and identity. The island today is a melting pot of influences, a testament to its complex history, and a fascinating destination for those seeking to understand the threads that weave together the Caribbean's diverse tapestry. The journey towards independence was a defining period in St. Lucia's history. This Caribbean gem was ruled by the French and British for centuries, each leaving their mark, but the path to self-governance was a hard-fought struggle. In the early 20th century, St. Lucia began to stir with the winds of change. The island society was evolving, the economy was diversifying, and the call for more political control grew louder. The mid-century brought a significant shift as the island moved towards self-rule. In 1967, St. Lucia became an associated state of the United Kingdom, gaining control over its internal affairs, while the UK retained responsibility for defense and foreign relations. And this was a significant step, but the islanders were not content, they yearned for complete sovereignty. The dream of full independence became a reality on February 22, 1979. The Union Jack was lowered for the last time and the St. Lucian flag fluttered proudly in its place. An air of optimism filled the island. St. Lucia was now free to chart its own course, free to shape its destiny. In the years following independence, St. Lucia has seen significant economic, political, and social changes. The economy has shifted from a focus on agriculture, specifically bananas, to tourism, becoming a prime destination for travelers worldwide. Politically, the island has maintained a stable democratic system ensuring that the voice of its people is heard. Socially, St. Lucia has strived to preserve its rich cultural heritage while embracing modernity. The island's vibrant culture is a testament to its resilience. Traditional music, dance, and cuisine thrive, and annual celebrations like the St. Lucia Jazz Festival and Junan Quayol offer vibrant displays of the island's Creole heritage. Yet, St. Lucia's story is not just about its past, it's about a nation that, despite the odds, continues to grow, to evolve, and to flourish. It's about a people who, with every sunrise, write a new chapter in their ongoing journey. Despite its turbulent past, St. Lucia has emerged as a vibrant and thriving nation. A nation that looks to the future with hope, strength, and an unwavering spirit of resilience. Today, St. Lucia stands as a testament to resilience, a jewel of the Caribbean. A vibrant tapestry woven with threads of history, culture, and natural beauty, the island tells a story of perseverance and growth that is as captivating as its lush landscapes and azure waters. Over the centuries, St. Lucia has weathered the storms of colonization, conflict, and change. From the early Amerindian inhabitants to the successive European powers that sought to claim it, the island has borne witness to a tumultuous past. Yet, through each chapter, St. Lucia has emerged stronger, its spirit unbroken, its allure undiminished. The island's vibrant cultural scene is a testament to its rich heritage, the pulsating rhythms of traditional music, the tantalizing wafts of Creole cuisine, and the vivacious energy of cultural festivals all echo the island's diverse influences. These are the threads that weave together the vibrant fabric of St. Lucian culture, a colorful mosaic that is as enchanting as it is diverse. St. Lucia's natural beauty, too, is a reflection of its resilience. The majestic Pitons, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, rise triumphantly from the Caribbean Sea, symbols of the island's enduring strength. The pristine beaches, verdant rainforests, and therapeutic hot springs all tell a tale of an island that has not only survived but thrived, its beauty accentuated by the trials it has overcome. Luxury resorts and wellness retreats, adventure sports and marine conservation efforts, these are the fruits of St. Lucia's resilience. They are the manifestation of an island that has harnessed its history, its heritage, and its natural bounty to create a captivating destination that beckons visitors from around the world. So what is St. Lucia? It is a testament to resilience, a beacon of cultural diversity, a haven of natural beauty. It is a jewel of the Caribbean, radiant and captivating. So, next time you see a postcard-perfect image of St. Lucia, remember the rich, varied, and resilient history that lies behind its beauty. That brings us to the end of our journey through the captivating history of St. Lucia. From the towering majesty of the Pitons to the tranquil beauty of its pristine beaches, 
We've journeyed through the many facets that make St. Lucia a jewel of the Caribbean. We've strolled through luxurious resorts, immersed in the island's vibrant culture, and sought out thrilling adventures all while exploring the rich tapestry of St. Lucia's past. We dove into the island's volcanic heritage, savored the sweet allure of its cocoa industry, and basked in the romance that permeates every corner of this idyllic paradise. We've also delved into the island's commendable marine conservation efforts and its tranquil wellness retreats that offer a haven of relaxation amidst the tropical splendor. Thank you for joining us on this journey. As we say goodbye to St. Lucia, we hope that its story has inspired you to explore more of the world's fascinating histories.